Hi everyone, I am Mahalakshmi, St. Joseph College, Fossil Science, Paruma, Ozur. In this video, we give basic theory of digraph in graph theory. Uh, in graph theory, already we, we have seen simple graph. Simple graph means without any directions. Uh, that is called a simple graph. Here, directed graph means in each edge of a graph, G has a direction. Then the graph is called directed graph or digraph. <coughs> now, we see one example for directed graph. First, we take the vertices 1, 2, 3, 4. These are four vertices, namely here V1, V2, this is V1, vertex 1, this one, two, This is the text three, the text four. Here, we draw one edge. In simple graph, there is no direction, but here, this edge has direction. This is initial point, this is terminal point. For this edge, vertex 1 is the initial point and vertex 2 is the terminal point. Then, this is also one of the edge with the initial point 2 and the terminal point 3. This is called arc. This is called arc. And also, Then, this is, this is one of the R is connecting, connecting edge vertices uh, 3 and 1. This is called a directed graph. Based on this directed graph, we can see two definitions. The first one is in degree and the second one is out degree. What is in degree? In degree is nothing but the degree of, um, degree of the vertex V in a digraph is the number of arc having V as its terminal vertex. For example, in degree of the vertex V, in degree of the vertex V is in degree of vertex V um, how many usually usually uh, how uh, how we can find the degree how many edges is join joining to this or adjacent to this vertex that number of edges is called a degree of v but here in degree we can um, we can split the degree of vertex into uh, two types the first one is in degree and the second one is out degree in degree means the number of arcs having v as its terminal vertex in this edge, and this is the initial point. Vertex V, uh, vertex one is the initial point. Next, is second, this arc, this is uh, the vertex one is the terminal point. So the number of terminal points having 
V as its terminal vertex. Therefore, here one is one is the in degree for the vertex one, and out degree is the number of initial vertex. Here for this for for this vertex, how many arcs having in initial vertex? The only one. Okay, this is initial point. This is terminal point. Therefore, this edge is initial vertex for initial vertex is one terminal vertex is two therefore out degree of one is one this is called in degree and out degree next we will see one more example next example Here one directed graph is here. Uh, what are the in degree and out degree of the vertex? Here, here how many vertices is there? Four vertices is there. A, B, C, and D. Here four vertices is there. Now we can calculate the in degree and out degree of each vertex. First we take the uh, vertex A. What is the in degree? The number of terminal arcs. Here, I think only one edge. This is in the, uh, terminal terminal arc. Therefore, the in degree is one. And the out degree, out degree for A. Here two arc is there. This two arc having initial point is A. Therefore. This one and this one. These two arcs having initial initial vertex for A. Therefore, out degree of A is two over next. We can move this uh, second one. What is this? The B here in degree. In degree means number of terminal vertices, terminal arcs. One, this this arc one. Next the second this one two. Next three. This is self loop. We can use this self loop for in degree and out out degree. Therefore, we can take this also a yeah? in degree arc terminal arc. Therefore, one, two, three, four. Number of in degrees for vertex B is four. Next, out degree. Out degree, number of arcs having initial points. See here, one initial point is there. I change the color. This is initial arc one. And in shell two, therefore the number of out degree for the vertex B is two. Okay, so like that we can find the vertex in degree and out degree for the vertex C and D. Okay, thank you.